how to name your web pages for SEO. Hello and welcome back again. In this video session, I'm going to show you how to name your web pages and a smarter way to uh, name your web pages. Now, what you're seeing on the screen is for this video tutorial session, as in this training course. So I've got some sample keywords which I will take you through and show you step by step how to create um, fully optimized landing pages, right? Surely it's a sample site, but nonetheless, it will give us enough knowledge to be able to rank any keyword and optimize any landing page and website, okay? So, now that we've got that out of the way, let's have a look at how we can better name our web pages because we know Google looks at the URL as a strong indicator as to what your landing pages are about. Now, knowing that, if I was to then say, okay, I want to target this keyword, these keywords, and these keywords, and so on, because we've done our keyword research, then it would be only logical for me to start naming my URLs along these lines, meaning having the keywords precisely in the web page, because that will be the URL as far as Google is concerned. Okay? So, knowing that, what about if I was to um, name my web page as what we're seeing now? Okay? Why don't I do that when I know that you know these keywords are being searched? Because I've seen this when I was doing my keyword research, for example. Now, let's set, call these um, long-tailed keywords and let's call these short keywords. Now, the re okay, you can name your web pages with long-tailed keywords. Actually, it is smart to do so if you're pumping out a lot of blog posts on your website. Okay, because blogs are a, a little bit different of an online business rather than, let's say, you're selling products or services and so on. Okay, so therefore, I would encourage you to, you know, precisely target long tail keywords if you're pumping out a lot of blog posts and if you're just having a normal website okay then it is only logical to go for short um, keywords in your URL because when you do then not only can you rank these keywords easily but because you've chosen the short ones that means you can um, precisely target different ones stemming from the ones you've chosen okay that means let me give you an example let's say um, you know my landing page is called seo training .html or .php it makes no difference because web page as in url is a url as far as google is concerned okay so if i then just choose the short keywords like this then i can stem different ones out of them as in latest SEO training, SEO training courses, SEO training video tutorials, and so on. Okay? So, in this example then, if I name my URLs as such, then it limits my potential to stem different ones from it. That's why it is smart for you to go for the short ones if you have a normal website. Whereas, if you if you have a blog portion then focus on the longer ones because for each blog post you want to you know keep targeting different keywords in a sense because you have the potential to create more different pages perhaps you know five pages per week and so on whereas if you had a normal website selling products and services that means you create your landing pages once and optimize it properly and then rank them whereas blog posts you can keep you know every week target different ones different ones different ones because that will consistently change for you okay so that's what you need to think when you want to name your web pages also what if 
we have a site that's running e-commerce or selling products or offering services and so on and let's say we have a medium-sized website or a large website okay because what I've shown you before is perhaps pretty basic and we already know the importance of category as in importance of us categorizing our products and services and so on because that is very important for your visitors when they visit you to navigate around your website through your navigation menu through your breadcrumb links and so on right so therefore it is smart if you you know are running an e-commerce site and you have a large website or a medium-sized website with lots of different products lots of different services and so on then you need to start thinking a little bit different when you want to name your web pages in a sense if you're uh, if you have lots of products that falls into different categories then you know instead of just having um, you know lots of pages you know which will get confusing for for everyone involved including Google okay then it is only intelligent for you to categorize them and use folders and within the folders you know put your important keywords as in in this example let's say we're selling bracelets necklaces earrings and so on then let's say as far as necklace is concerned let's say you have 50 different products okay then you need to sit back and start thinking okay how do I categorize them because that kind of um, allows you to name them properly as well okay so for a large site you utilize folder names with the keywords as in let me create a folder and name it with the keyword necklaces for example then underneath that I can then say okay you know what I have two different types of necklaces one is gold necklaces then I will name my web page as such okay and another web page I'm gonna categorize all the silver necklaces so therefore then you name your web pages different if you have a website similar to this okay also you can then let's say you have a really large website with lots of different products then you can perhaps further categorize it and use another folder name and call that for men okay so therefore it branches out right and then you have another folder and name it for women okay and within that folder you then go and say okay let me then name my web page with celticcross.html for example right or um, for women um, triangle.html knowing you're selling the triangle necklaces on this page whereas on this one you're selling celtic cross necklaces but you know think of it like google here because we know google looks at the url as an important um, signal so therefore when you follow this option for a e-commerce site what happens is that you actually avoid any duplicate issues because if you then didn't follow this option and just trying to put all everything in the necklaces folder then each page becomes very similar to one another whereas if you follow this option then you're covering the keywords in the URL portion okay and not only that when you create this page by itself it becomes more original and more unique compared to the other one so that that's why you need to follow um, a smarter a logical way when you're naming your web pages knowing it is one of the most important signals for Google keyword ranking thank you very much for learning with me now that we know how to name our web pages let's continue learning and I'll talk to you in the next video session